Yo, what's going on guys, Witness2K back on NBA2K22, my team. In this video right here, we are turning an Invincible card into our very own Endgame card. We are then gonna list that card on the auction house and see what it sells for. So like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Like you don't pay me to tell you just do it, they pay me to show you I do it again. I have this pack right here, which contains 80 Hall of Fame badges, every single Hall of Fame badge in the game. I got this because I have Endgame Will Chamberlain, and this basically came with that Endgame Will Chamberlain. And I thought this is a perfect opportunity to buy a card, make it cracked as hell, and sell it for some big bucks. Before I show you the type of card that I'm gonna be doing this experiment on, comment down below, have you badged out a card to 80 Hall of Fame badges in NBA 2K22? and sold it on the 2K auction house. I wanna know what card you've done that to and how much it's sold for. The card I am going to be turning into an end game card is Invincible Paul George. I've pulled this card in a season seven super packed pack opening and this card is super dope. He is really good, but I do have I do have a feeling that he could possibly get an end game card or his, his value could just drop within the next week or two. Now I'm not gonna lie, Paul George was not my preferred choice of who I wanted to badge out at 80 Hall of Fame badges. If I could choose anyone, it would definitely be Luca because a stock Luca sells with 65 Hall of Fame badges, sells for 1.3 million with an hour to go in the auction house is absolutely ridiculous. So when one sells with 80 Hall of Fame badges, it sells for MT that I didn't even know was possible to have on an account. Kevin Durant would be a pretty sick one to do as well. I'm not gonna lie, but we're playing NBA 2K right here. Yes, Kevin Durant is better than Paul George when it comes to all-time better player, but when it comes to 2K, Paul George can play shooting guard when it comes to this invincible Kevin Durant and invincible Paul George, and a card that's nearly freaking seven foot at the shooting guard position is deadly. Paul George is selling for a really good price. There's not that many on the auction house as well. One just sold for 65 Hall of Fame badges for over half a million MT, so a badge out one at 80 is definitely gonna sell. I'm confident that we can break the milli mark. So here we go right here though, we're gonna be opening up this badge. I have no idea, I've never opened up a pack like this and I'm pretty excited to honestly, but obviously it's going to be every single Hall of Fame badge. I don't really know what Paul George has and doesn't. I mainly don't know what he doesn't have, but we're obviously gonna be able to give him the other 15 Hall of Fame badges. He needs to be badged out to completely 80, but we're gonna have so many badges left over as well, which is awesome. There are so many badges in the game. That took ages to get done. We're gonna apply badge now and obviously give him everything he does not have and make him get 80 Hall of Fame badges. This is the first time I have ever done this. So yeah, it is pretty exciting, I'm not gonna lie. And just like that, Paul George has 80 Hall of Fame badges. You see right there in the bottom left, 80. We're gonna buy this uh, contract right here, need a diamond contract for Paul George. I am flat broke right now. I need this auction house sales so badly. We're gonna equip that as well, and that's gonna give him the 80 badges and now a diamond contract. Now because Paul George is not an end game card yet, end game cards have 99 across the board. Now, Paul George Invincible has a 97 in the post fade hook and control, 98 in the mid range, I don't know why it's a 98, and pass IQ and pass accuracy are also 90. So that's going to make all of those stats 99. Besides passing IQ, it can stay to 98. I'll live with it. And once we apply this diamond shoe right here, Paul George is now 99 everything besides IQ at a 98, which you're not going to notice. He's got the badges and the contract as well to go along with it. Now, of course, we got to get some gameplay before we sell him. We got an opponent, a little bit of a budget squad, but hey, it is what it is. I'm trying to mess around with this PG and see if we can catch a couple of nice dubs. I'm feeling confident, man. Mash up against Isaiah Thomas and he ain't even playing defense. Step back in the corner. Bro, it doesn't have to be green. It's still going in. We get to stop on the other end. KD, PG on the moving. I mean, this PG as an invincible is extremely elite, let alone an end game PG. Paul George gets the rebound on the other end, going coast to coast. Who we got on us right here? Who is that? 
Ooh, wherever it is, he's leaning and we're pulling and we're, we're undefeated. We're undefeated. We have not made, missed a shot yet. We are three for three. Give me that. Give me that. The defense, the clamps, Paul George, one of the greatest two-way players of our generation. God damn, he keeps cooking. Our opponent does get a couple of points on the board. I'm not worried about it yet. If I start stressing, I'll let you guys know, but I think PG has it pretty under control at the moment. This Paul George is so elite. Like, obviously, Paul George, when it comes to offense, PG is going to be PG, but just the two-way at the shooting guard position, like, he's putting clamps on anybody. I've hit nothing but threes all game, and I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to keep hitting threes. Let me hit that step back. Isaiah's too small. Isaiah, too little. It's shooting even at the guard position. I just created this monster, and I'm not quite ready to part ways with him. i got to get one more game of triple threat, because... This card is insane. I actually really don't want to sell him. I would have so much fun with him, but for the sake of the video and the sake of my <laughs> balance of MT, I am going to be selling him still. I just want to get one more game. Step back, corner Tracy. Green beans over Lonzo Ball. Let me hit him with a snatch. Might take a couple of these inside. Unless you're going to give me that kind of room, PG's hitting, I promise you. Just a mil, a millimeter of breathing room we will hit the shot. You could definitely argue the point that this Paul George we're using right here is better than in-game Kobe Bryant. Now, the reason I say that, obviously Kobe Bryant can play point guard, so that makes him obviously insane. But this Paul George, he's got the height. PG has height, his animations and signatures are already freaking deadly, so it's not as though they really need an upgrade. Nope. You could argue, of course. Of course I missed that shot when I'm saying, when I'm trying to say that he's better than Endgame Kobe Bryant, we miss, we miss, we finally miss a three with him, but let's see how PG plays under pressure. Can he lead his team to a dub? Now I gave him 99 post fade. Let's see it, oh, let's see it in motion. That was fantastic. Good steal. Stop right there, pull the trigger, take the lead. We needed that. Our opponent did answer. He did answer now. I think I'm gonna need a three. Oh, let me take that. Let me take that, try and get a stop, ice this game. We got the stop, now we need to ice the game. Paul George catch your three. Let's go, that was actually so clutch. I'm now going to list Paul George for 12 hours. We're gonna come back right before he's sold and see what he ends up selling for. Comment down below right now if you wanna put in a prediction. One eternity later. Our end game Paul George has been on the auction for 11 hours. One hour remains. I wanted to give a quick update because it's already nearly at 400,000 MT. So this card is showing signs of making a really large auction house sale. A few moments later. If my calculations are correct, and I think they are, Paul George should have about five minutes left. Let's go into the auctions. 560, okay. We need that to go higher though, hella higher. We've only got three and a half minutes remaining on this sale. Need that 560 to turn to about a million within the next three minutes. Taking a look at the actual auction house, there is not that many Paul Georges on the auction house. The next one expires 50 minutes after mine. So I'm hoping people do not want to wait around and they want to buy their Paul George. So they just go crazy with it. So it just got another bid placed on it. It's now up to 583,000. We have the final minute remaining. I'm kind of nervous that this is going to be a bust, honestly. I was hoping the sale was higher than what it's at at the moment. We're up to over, we've passed 600,000. I don't expect it to be like 3 million. I understand the auction house is different than it was, you know, a month ago. But at the same time, if 2K dropped an end game Paul George, that car would sell for well over a million MT. But this is literally end game. You cannot make an end game Paul George better than this. We're going up again though. 640,000, we're going up quick, I like to see that. But you literally could not make an end game better. Let's go, 745. Okay, this is going up rapidly right now. Six, so this auction house is looking much better now. Much better, come on, let's hit that million. I wanna see a milli. 745, can we go up, go up again? Oh, now it's not going up, we're down the final 16, 15 seconds. Come on, I'm just doing that quick refresh to see. I think it went up a tiny bit just there. Not even a thousand, but like in the hundreds, it went up a little bit. Five, four, three, two. Did it go up? 
Okay, if it's sold for 750, I'm not gonna be totally mad. It's still a very large auction house sale for a card that isn't an end game, but I'm really hoping it got one final bid. Let's see, what's it gonna be? 820,000 MT. I will take that. It's not that I wanted a million, but I am happy with that. With the auction the way it is, you pretty much have to have like an extremely good card, like an end game card, or you're not even gonna become close to it. Not even end game cards sell for a million sometimes. I'm pretty sure Scotty Barnes is around 800K roughly. So Paul George, 820K, I will take it. Let's go ahead and redeem that right there. That sale was, so we got 738,000 in the pocket. We needed it, I needed the MT, that card is cracked. Whoever got it, it's, it's a dub, like you got an amazing card. That card is ridiculous. But I hope you guys did enjoy this auction house video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll catch you guys all in the next upload. It's been witnessed.